Welcome to Neville TV. My name is Balaj Gar. You already know me here from over 3,000 videos, and you can see here we have a Sony Xperia V smartphone, which we will raffle off on our website and on YouTube. Since we have 3,000 videos, Sony gave us this smart little device, which most of you guys probably haven't even heard of or only heard of once last year at the EFA in September. They announced the device, but it only came out in December when we were all almost at the CES um, where the Xperia Z was announced, which is a 5 inch Full HD smartphone. This only, only has 4.3 inch, so it's as big as a Samsung Galaxy S2, but it's also waterproof. It has LTE 4G and of course 30 megapixel camera, uh, HD full uh, HD camera in the front also, so uh, almost the same specs. Um, a dual core processor inside with one point. 5 gigahertz inside and not full HD but HD display which is I think for the battery life a lot better and we already shot also a few um, night vision or night videos here at the club so actually I think the camera is the same quality we don't have the Z here anymore but this V is really a beautiful device which we'll unbox now give you again a short little hands-on of the LT25i also what's it called and uh, see what's inside the box and what you will be able to win since not only your German customers are of course allowed to uh, participate in our contest. So we have of course the device itself. I got the white one. Um, well, I was able to choose between I think pink and white. So um, I think you will like the white one better. And um, we don't only have the smartphone inside the box but also one of the best chargers on the smartphone market 1500 milliamps um, and with 5 volts um, is what this little fella gives out so your smartphone will be charged in as um, little as one and a half hours micro usb cable important of course for charging and um, copying data then in-ear headphone with volume control and microphone of course inside golden and and quite i think comfortable we will try it out later and also here um, two different sizes again for in-ear and a little clip so you can put the microphone wherever you want on your jacket or anything else you are wearing so we have also a little bit of paperwork here not too much by sony one of the mo more important ones is where you can actually use it um, in the water since waterproof does not mean that you can for example use it um, when you are going swimming into a swimming pool actually i don't know why that is but okay ocean water not hot water don't use it with sand or mud um, no other chemicals like for example you don't wash it off um, in the kitchen with some kind of weird chemical and of course you shouldn't use it for diving since waterproof means only one meter and half an hour into the water so maybe if you drop it i i don't know in your bathtub or something that's fine um, otherwise, yeah, then we have some SAR information and um, a short little manual here in German. But I, mean, I think all you guys know how to use Android and what the different buttons are. But I'm actually going to show you now anyway. So this was from the content. There was actually also battery inside, 1700 milliamps. I already put it inside the device so we can just press the button and go on with Jellybean but before we go to the software and we have of course here some hardware to discuss like for example behind this little flap there's the micro USB port right there so I can just close this up then then we have here like on the Xperia Z a little connector um, space where you can connect um, external power over a dock and the dock is of course separately available then you can see here behind the chrome um, that surrounds the device we have also the headphone jack here behind the little flap the flap helps us uh, is actually quite strong as you can see here this won't break at all it was the same nice quality with the xperia z on this side we have on and off switch with the old um, design language by sony um, which was called next and then we have here volume control and some little hole here on the side so you can use a little hand strap for example and on the bottom of course the microphone for phone calls so you can see no micro sd here but there is actually a micro sd slot right where the sim card slot is i will show you in just a second first we have the camera here flash here uh, two microphones actually on the top and the bottom 
and then also a good speaker and I don't even know what all these um, arrows are supposed to mean. I mean everybody knows how to put the back on since if you put it on the wrong way the, the camera won't fit. But otherwise you can just really take this off. This is again the same kind of um, here soft um, plastic quality that we know from Samsung. But we have inside here a little rubber surrounding here for the battery. So if this drops into the water then the battery um, does not get any water and the micro sim neither. Since you need the micro sim here and below that there is the micro SD. I didn't realize that first here is a big battery. And then you can see here again that all the parts I showed you before. So let me just put on this nice little plastic bag. It's, it actually feels quite nice. It has a soft touch to it, a little bit uh, like, I don't know which device, maybe the Google Nexus 7 or um, the Nexus 10. And on the front again, we have here also a camera, a speaker and the protection foil, which I will take off. So you have a clear look of your 4.3 inch screen. I like to put it on on the foil that's, that holds the smartphone itself, so I can just hit the power button and then you can see your Android Jelly Bean with the Bravi engine and this beautiful um, well lock screen that we have by Sony. Let's focus on the screen and we can listen to some music right away. There was some music on, on here. And the sound is not that bad, I mean it's mono, you can hear it clearly, it's not, not a boom sound like the HTC One has. But this costs uh, less than 400 bucks for an LTE smartphone, which is of course quite nice. So let's just hit pause again. You can see here we have all kinds of different programs that we already know from Sony and other devices. NFC is of course also built in. You can't miss that. Um, we have a nice little um, Chrome, for example, browser where I have already my Hungarian tech blog open, which is um, here in responsive design really quite fast and not and yeah and beautiful. You can flip the screen, of course. To see that also that happens quite quickly. Uh, the same for the keyboard which you can use like this again with swipe and you can rotate it again and hit of course all the separate buttons also. And we can do the, choose different languages and then um, also the beautiful 30 megapixel camera is quite important at the um, HD camera in the front. And right now you can see the front camera uh, which is not that fast as it seems and um, the resolution is also not perfect, or I don't know why it's not that sharp, but it seems to me like it's just VGA. But if you go to the back, you will see, wow, that is just beautiful, fast, and the colors are exactly the same as my one, uh, 2000 euro Panasonic camera shoots here, everything. So that's quite amazing, especially if you look at pictures from the club I took last night with no flash at all. You can see this is quite beautiful and you can even zoom in and it looks really great. And again, a video here of last night, you can see that even in video mode, um, with bad light, you can see here everything going quite nicely and of course fast. You can record in full HD. Um, and that's what I did. So, you will see that um, video that you just saw here in uh, full quality and more of this device on Endeavor TV. So, please subscribe here on the bottom for more devices, more information about smartphones, tablets and more. And before we finish, let me turn off the screen and let's do a quick comparison in size of the uh, Apple iPhone 5 in white and the white Sony Xperia V. It's not the same price, but you can see here in size they are about the same. Um, in width, but in height it wasn't the same. And when I put them onto each other, in terms of thickness, you can see uh, that the Xperia Z is maybe a V is maybe slimmer in the middle, and the same on the on the two edges. But compared to maybe for example a Samsung Galaxy S3, the size is not exactly the same. Here again, in the middle, the Xperia V is slimmer, has this nice little arc feeling to it and when you look at them from the front you can see here also that the um, Sony is a few millimeters smaller and not as wide as a Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, which has a lot of screen estate I know but not most people don't need it and the battery life on Sony is always a lot better than I have seen on Samsung till now. So thank you much for watching. This was the brand new Sony Xperia V smartphone here in an unboxing. Please send in again 
um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and my name is Balaj Gal and thank you much for watching as always.